Welcome to my weekend vlog. <laughs> Look at the tail. What is that? These are those like packing cube things I have in my suitcase. <laughs> Where'd you get those, buddy? They were up here. <laughs> Hi, you two. Hi, sleepy Saturday. Hi, we're tired. I can tell. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to join in on the Saturday mm -hmm. nap. Oh, sniffles right in my ear. Mm -hmm. I found them earlier napping. You guys, and Brony always licks Max's ear. <laughs> Why are you so licky today? <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, do you want some? <laughs> Guess where we are, everyone? <laughs> the dog park! That's why Brody's with us. Can you even see him? The lighting is like very intense right, right on now. Us. But I'm so excited. He is gonna be so excited. This is his first time at a dog park because he's finally all healed and ready to go from his surgery. And then I just feel like before that, like when he was younger, obviously we couldn't because you're waiting for all their shots and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he's never been to a dog park like this. And honestly, our first vet kind of scared me about them. Like they were <laughs> yeah, just like, he was, really he was like, why well, wouldn't really bring my dog to a dog park? Like there's like, Pee and poo he was everywhere. like, "Would you use a public restroom?" I was <laughs> like, "What? Yes." We're like, "But dog park, like dogs love yeah. it." So anyway, so we're this is his first time at a dog park, and this is just so exciting to There's kick off young, the weekend. Uh, a young Gretchen Garrity out in the field. Oh my god, is she taking, taking photos. Instagram photos? Yeah. Oh my god, that's literally me. She's they so cute my... with her beanie. No, they were doing TikTok both, both at the same time. Right. Oh my god, Three, they're two, so cute. <laughs> oh, they're setting up their phone in like a timer and like the one was like jumping. They're, yeah. they're so cute. Okay, dog park time. <laughs> He's gonna be so excited. <laughs> run, 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 run. You guys, he was playing with the German Shepherd. Do you see how muddy he is? Okay, he needs Bring a bath immediately. Brody! Show them how muddy Hi, you Tina. are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, don't get too close to me. You can run. <laughs> morning, you guys. It's Sunday morning. I feel like my face is frozen right now and can't like move. You know, when you're outside and it's really cold and then you try to talk and your face is like frozen. <laughs> Brody and I just went on the longest walk, huh? You were so happy and sleepy. Oh, good night. <laughs> um, we literally just went on the longest Sunday morning walk. I'm so happy because it started off pretty dreary, but now it's all sunny out. <laughs> and this is where you'll expect Brody to be. I'll expect him to be for the next like hour. <laughs> he is so funny, he's so predictable. Does anyone else's dog just like flop right down when you come in from a walk? Max is working out right now, I got my overnight oats. I wanted to show you guys, cause I haven't even showed you. This is like tea right here. When I made my happy hour merch, I only had 10 samples, 12 samples, however much it was. And I just wanted my friends to get them right away. So literally, the day I got them, took photos in them like for the website and to be able to like post about them and stuff. But I haven't had my own merch um, in two months since I sold it because I've been waiting to get mine, if that makes sense, when like they were all shipped out. And so the samples I sent to all my friends so they could have them right away and then I didn't have any. So everyone's like, Gretchen, I'm like waiting on mine. Like, do you know when it's coming? And I'm like, I'm right there with you, sister. Like, I want mine so bad. And mine actually got like delayed and got here way later than everyone else got there. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is it's funny because I never even had my own. And I'm so happy because I finally have my own and I wore on our little walk and it's so cozy and just making me in a happy mood on this Sunday and I've had a couple questions like I digress but I've seen a couple questions of people being like oh my gosh they're not on your website like where'd they go but it was just that one weekend thing which I thought I made really clear and I kept posting out saying like it's just this weekend only that's just the way we had to do it since we like did it ha with pre-orders like we went the pre-order route so that we could make exactly how many we were selling so that we didn't have any waste everything like that that's just like what um, I wanted to do and made the most sense to me so yeah but that's not to say I would never come out with more in the future if I wanted to do more designs I saw some people asking like I don't yellow isn't really my thing like would you do different colors or I mean I had the blue long sleeve but like you know more like neutral colors maybe or like just a different design if you didn't like the design so never say never I'm not sure I haven't really given it much thought right now because this is just something fun that I wanted to do since I had so many requests for it for so long um, um, but I could so see like sweatpants that went with or, like sweatshorts or something sweatshorts or something I've been so into so 
yeah like that would be so fun but anyway i digress side note um i made overnight oats for like the first time in like forever do you guys remember when i was on my grind and i would make these like every day like i miss them so bad so yeah i'm gonna put some banana in here and we're wondering how i do it oh my god it's so good as good as i remember i do one half cup oats i think they're like old-fashioned oats not quick oats but probably either kind doesn't really matter one half cup oats one half cup almond milk sprinkle of chia seeds sprinkle of or like little drizzle of maple syrup like a lot of peanut butter like i probably do too much i do like a big tablespoon of peanut butter mix it all up yeah i think that's everything and then i throw it in the fridge overnight so good in the morning like i prefer this over normal oatmeal but i just usually i'm too lazy to make it at night so i need to do this more i'm gonna add a banana on top and eat this i've been listening to skinny confidential we've been having such a good morning i really like obviously i love being with max and our time with max don't get me wrong like, i love when he's home but we've just been having like really fun brody gretchy mornings where i listen to a podcast I just like start off my day really good. And then we see a dad later. <laughs> I know the last thing you guys saw was the dog park. Oh, I didn't even say. Sorry, this clip is so long right here. We had the biggest bath situation, I'm sure you could imagine. He was the dirtiest I've ever seen him. So muddy, so wet. And we actually have like a dog wash situation at our like apartment complex that we've used before, which is like really helpful to wash them so that we don't have to like throw him in the bathtub or the shower. But there was another dog in there, so we were like, it's okay. And just washed him in the shower. And he actually seems like he's getting better being bathed because you still like really hate it and kind of freak out. And especially with the blow dryer, which I have my Dyson, which is so quiet. I'm like the lowest setting, obviously I'm cold and he still would freak out. But yesterday he wasn't that bad with it. Like he was letting us like wash him and dry him. So I think he's getting better with it. Thank goodness he's clean because he was <laughs> really freaking dirty. Now we're finally eating, huh? <laughs> You've been too sleepy. So I just got ready for the day a little bit, just a little bit of makeup, a little Sunday situation. I just like feeling put together. But while Brody is chomping away at his kibble for breakfast, I wanted to remind you guys, I'm sure you're not surprised by this because I've talked about it in videos before, but just of the kibble that Brody eats that we feed him. It's the Solid Gold brand. And I'm sure you guys have heard of them at my PetSmart here. They have like a big, huge section and that's always where I get his bone broth. Wait, I'm literally going gonna pull it up right now so i can show you guys because that is like my favorite thing from them we actually just ran out but i love adding this on top of his kibble i just feel like it has really good added benefits this is the turkey bone broth with pumpkin and ginger this is like on my list to go get this at our pet mart but what i wanted to tell you guys life hack if you have a dog and you didn't know this this is gonna like change your life on chewy now we actually just get the hunden flock and that's like the type that he eats auto shipped because it just makes it so much easier you don't even have to think about it but what i'll show you guys because i have the massive bag in here but it like barely comes out of this cabinet it like takes up the whole thing so i'll show you guys this is our little emergency stash if we think the auto ship is going to be like not coming in time we don't want him to starve obviously so yes this is the hunden flock in lamb brown rice just good for golden retriever like a big breed and then this is also from solid gold you guys this is just digestive enzymes for when he's having digestion issues do you catch my drift <laughs> So yeah, Solid Gold is the best if you guys haven't heard of them. If you have a dog, I would so recommend looking into their pet food because they're so amazing. I know they were actually the first holistic pet food company started in America. And basically with Brody's environmental allergies, it just made sense to make the switch a while back. We were talking with his vet and everything. And I know Goldens in specific are prone to environmental allergies. They would just like flare up time and time again. And if you guys didn't know, so much of our pet's immune system is actually impacted from their gut health and their digestion and so supporting his digestion with really high quality holistic pet food from solid gold just helps his environmental allergies and helps you know fight them and i just really align with the values of solid gold their beliefs of like high quality food impacting our pets lives and i don't know i just think a lot of times we don't look at like the holistic view of everything if your pet's having any sort of issues struggles it's like okay well what are we feeding them every day so that's why solid gold is the best if you guys haven't considered them out so 
check them out if you have a dog, a cat. I know they have cat food too, but anyway, you guys can use my code Gretchen. You'll get 30% off select solid gold products if you go to solidgoldpet.com. I would so recommend. And now I guess we'll see what we're gonna do for the rest of this Sunday. We started Bridgerton last night, I meant to tell you guys, and we were like so obsessed. Max was of course talking in a British accent for the rest of the night. I was like, okay, goodbye, I'm going to bed. But I think we'll just hang out and like watch Bridgerton for the rest of the day. I wish we could take Brody to the dog park again, but he got literally so muddy. I'm like, okay, we need to make a mental note to only bring him after it's very like dry for a while. It doesn't rain because of course it like rained the day before. So that's why it was so muddy. So we're like, okay, note to self, don't bring him after it rains. There's a quick little down there. Eight balls. Hey. Show them how we cuddle with him. <laughs> Brody, do you like with her? A little bit. Look how long his nose looks. Six balls. Five. Six. And you must have goodness you guys this looks so good I'm about to devour this little yogurt bowl yum post bar as you saw finished bar and you guys I swear Brody is like boycotting his breakfast this morning because I still need to get that turkey like bone broth with pumpkin ginger he loves it so much and when I pour it on his kibble he like devours it and I swear he's like being dramatic like his mom <laughs> and not eating <laughs> because he loves that bone broth. I'm sorry, I'll get you some today, I promise. I think you're a little spoiled. <laughs> All right, first of all, you guys, clearly it's Monday. So not really the weekend anymore, and I know this is a weekend vlog. I feel like my weekend vlogs always drag on into Monday because I feel like on the weekends, I'm in just such a weekend mood and barely show anything, and we like watch Bridgerton the whole time. All I showed was Bridgerton. That's literally all we did. Folded some laundry. That was about it. Then I did my bar class this morning with Chase and Max's sister, and that was so fun. I had my little... Oh, I missed that. That was so good. And as you could see, I just wanted to address. This is always like mayhem in this parking lot. I'll tell you where I am in a second. But clearly, I had lunch with my friends Megan and Amy. And I just wanted to say, for everyone worrying about me, I'm good. Thank you for your concern. And I can see both sides of it. So I see a lot of concern from you guys being like, are you okay? Are you happy? Are you seeing friends? Like, please see people safely, of course. But like, we know that you only see Max and Brody and you need to like see people or you're gonna like go kind of crazy. So some people have been concerned for me and some people are like rude. They're like, you're not making any friends. But then the other half is like, obviously I'm afraid who isn't afraid of getting COVID and just wants, like everyone just wants to be safe and doing the safest thing. You know what I mean? Um, or at least I would hope that everyone would want that. That's how I feel at least. And so it's like, no, I'm really not making new friends because yeah we're living in a pandemic and for everyone that's like you need to like be socializing and like meeting new people it's like I don't really know how or like how to do that and like feel comfortable with it I mean we met this nice lady at the dog park but she was obviously like 15 feet away and we're like oh my god you're doing much effort so cute like you know what I mean it's just like a weird time so I did have lunch with my friends Megan and Amy from college and they live actually kind of far from me probably like 45 50 minutes um so we just met up for lunch which I feel like in my opinion I felt comfortable with we felt good with obviously if it's like legal to go out to lunch like I don't know we 
it was obviously just like a quick lunch and so good to see them and whenever I see gals I can chat with now it's just like means so much because I have very little social interaction so that is just like honestly helps so much with like my mental health and just being able to like chat with someone that isn't like Max who I live with in Brody and you know what I mean so yeah for everyone like concerned for me and like my social life yeah it's like pretty bleak so I get why you're concerned um but just know I'm obviously just trying to like be safe and all this we're wearing our masks everything like that and yeah so I did see them for lunch and I was gonna like show you my outfit and stuff before and then uh, of course I'm like getting ready so quick so that happened um but it was like a really cute place in Miami like a green bowl so I'll show you my outfit like when I get home but now you're probably like where are you now in this crazy parking lot drove back home I'm actually at the mall here at the Beehive Valley Mall and I'm so excited I'm like should I I feel like I didn't even vlog that much in this vlog so I'll just tell you I because you, this is probably like so weird that I'm so excited over this but I've just thought about it in my head for so long I am picking up a Dyson air wrap right now so I'm like more excited than I should be about this well I mean it is really exciting because I've thought about it for so long like I feel like I've just wanted one for probably like a year like since it came out but I was always like no Gretchen you don't need it like I have like a similar like Revlon little blowout thing and I have the Dyson hair dryer that I got a while ago which honestly if they had the air wrap out when I got the hair dryer I probably would have just got that because I know there's like a hair dryer attachment on it but I've just had so much FOMO because my friend KP has one and it's to the point you guys where I've thought about getting an air wrap and I've wanted one for so long but I've just been like debating it because it's so dang expensive um but it's gotten to the point where if I see my friend's hair in a picture or like on social media, I'm like, they used an air wrap. I can just tell because it looks so good. It looks like professionally blown out and like KP will Snapchat me and I'm like, okay, you used your air wrap, didn't you? Your hair looks literally like flowing and gorgeous. And she's like, yeah. And then my best friend Taylor got one for Christmas and she's like, it's the best thing ever. So it's just been hyped up to me for so long. And I keep seeing people like post little tutorials on like their Instagram story and I'm like, I need one. So... I've been smart though and I've thought about it for like a year and because it's so dang expensive but I've heard so many good things and I'm like okay I just I decided I'm gonna do it I saved up my Sephora gift cards I'm so excited shout out grandma for, <laughs> for giving me a Sephora gift card so I'm just like really excited but also you know when like you move to a smaller town life is like a slower pace it's just the little things and this is actually like a big thing like obviously it's big and like exciting but like do you know what I mean just like little like everyday things are just like even more special like picking up your Dyson Airwrap that you wanted for a year so yeah of course when I decided like a week or two ago that I was gonna like take the plunge and do it saved up my support gift cards it goes out of stock on the website and I'm like oh my gosh you're kidding me and I'm like trying I'm like scouring like Sephora's like store finder to see if they have them in stock anywhere and they're out of stock everywhere and I'm like do I drive to New York City to get one I'm like yeah no that's not happening because there was like one in stock like in New York I saw so I've just been checking every day and today it said like limited quantity available at the mall here so I like quickly like reserved it so that I could go pick it up in person do any of you guys care this is just like since I, I don't really have that many, I don't have like any friends here. You're my friend and you're in the car hanging out with me or you're Hannah or Taylor or Louisa like on FaceTime with me right now and I'm telling you how excited I am. I don't know, I'm just excited and I'm gonna go pick it up and maybe the start of my next vlog will be me like trying it out. I heard there's like a learning curve with it and it like takes a while to like figure out how to use it. But yeah, TikTok isn't helping with this either. I feel like whenever I scroll on TikTok, someone's hair looking like beautiful and they're like, oh my God, you guys got this air wrap it does like wonders and I'm like I need it. of course I don't need it but like I've just wanted it for a while like I said saved up my gift cards I'm still gonna have to like pay a little for it or a lot because it's expensive but yeah okay enough about my Dyson air wrap spiel I'm just really excited I'm gonna go grab it and I will show you guys when I get back I also feel like I just barely bring in my camera with me when I go places now because I feel like with COVID and the masks and you don't want to get near things and touch things I don't know I like barely will vlog because it just seems almost like inappropriate I don't know do you know what I mean but this whole spiel is that I'm excited okay we're gonna go get it you guys oh, this always freaking happens this happened to you guys where my mask will get caught in my earrings anyway besides the point why am I out of breath I just like <laughs> ran back to the car because I was so excited to show you <laughs> okay she's heavy nobody tells you that this bag was so 
Oh my god, it literally ripped the bag. It's so heavy. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Wow, look at all those freaking attachments. This is like my Revlon one, but just like next level. Like, I can even use all those. Look at all those bad boys. Wow. Okay, I just got really freaked out. You guys know me and my literal like PTSD. Like it is when people like when I see people like walking by my car from that time that guy like got in my car. Anyway, besides the point. Wow, I can't believe I didn't lock it right as I got it. Normally the second I sit down, I like lock the doors because it freaks with me. It freaks it freaks me out to this day. It stays with me to this day. But I was so excited to show you. Oh my god. I want to go like take a shower and have like wet clean hair to like play with this immediately because I'm just so excited. Do any of you have this? Do you like it? Like I said, I heard there was a learning curve about it, so I hope I don't get like frustrated because in my head, it just takes like five minutes and it's gonna be like like a perfect, luscious looking blowout. In reality, I'm gonna have to like learn how to freaking use this thing, but yeah. That was so quick and easy, might I add, the store pickup. Like the girl in the front was really nice and was like, you know, and they tell you all their offers or whatever, and I was like, oh, where do I go for store pickup? She was like, oh, that's me. And then it was just like waiting right up front. Bada bing, bada boom, quick and easy. Shout out store pickup. I was gonna go stop at Target, but it is like rush hour now. And it's just gonna be like mayhem, like the high, this highway to like come to and from here. If you guys live here, is always like traffic. I don't know. But I was gonna go to Target literally only to get those Ollie sleep gummies because I used my last two last night and I just like love them so much. And like felt like I didn't need them for a while. And then I was like, yeah, I'm trying to go to bed earlier. So I like need these. They just help me feel like way more calm and sleepy. But I don't wanna go all the way there just to get those if I don't need anything else. I don't think I'm gonna go. I'll be fine tonight without without them, right? I'll just like have a glass of wine. Is that bad to say? <laughs> oh man, we're just being really real. Anyway, I just vlogged for so long about my Dyson Airwrap. Like nobody cares, nobody asked. But um, yeah, you're my friend today and hanging out with me. So <laughs> I will end off the weekend vlog here. Oh no wait, I'm not gonna because I want to show you my outfit. I get home. Because if you were my friend on FaceTime, I would be like FaceTiming you again to show you my outfit. Okay, I'll end it off when I get home when I show you. You guys tell someone's happy I move. <laughs> get him dancing around. But here's the outfit. Sweater from Revolve. How cute. Love it. It's new. It's like it's like in between long and normal length. I don't know. It's kind of like a fun length. I just like it with jeans, like a little bit longer, but obviously not like sweater dress length. It's like a tunic. Is that what this length is called? Anyway, and then these are like the only jeans I wear ever from a Goldie, but they're from Revolve. They're called the Riley something. I can link these, but yes. And they're the Riley crop, I know, because they're like extra <laughs> short on me. And then my little golden goose sneakers, which I always call golden geese. Not right. <laughs> so yeah, this is the outfit I really wanted to show you. And I'm wearing my little Chanel bag, which is actually like the same color as this, so that's fun. And my new necklace I know I've showed you guys, or at least you've seen my Instagram, from Golden Hour Company. They do like the repurposed like vintage designer jewelry that I think is really fun. So anyway, that's my outfit. Thanks for coming along with my journey today. I'm gonna go wash my hair and play with the air wrap now. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this weekend vlog, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.